Welcome once again, and what's a Friday morning without some entertainment, without some drama? And of course, you are going to be getting straight into it, you know, from music to maybe a little bit about marriages that have collapsed in the last 48 hours. We have uh, Sam Dandy joining us this morning. Morning, Sam. Good morning. morning. Do you come bearing good news or bad news? A little bit of both, right? A little bit of both. I so guess I that's what makes life life. I mean, some days good, some days bad, some days both, but whatever the case, we must still keep riding the way. All right, let's get into it. Absolutely. Now let's talk about Afrobeats to the world. It was just a few days ago, Flyboy DML broke records as the first African artist to perform on the BET main stage at, the, at this year's award ceremony. Well, the star is still in the news, this time for being the first African to take the Wembley Stadium stage. The 26-year-old star performed side by side with English multi-award winning singer and songwriter Ed Sheeran as his only guest performer that particular day. The two thrilled fans in the 90,000 capacity stadium to their hits collaboration, the remix of the hit song Peru. Now the song went platinum in Britain just last month, having sold over 600,000 units and is certified gold in the US with 500,000 units in sales. Now having top charts worldwide and its video amassing over 86 million streams on YouTube alone, there's certainly no stopping the song's success. Well, here's a short clip from all the action at the Wembley, Wembley Stadium. Wembley Stadium for the first time ever. Me and Fireboy DML are going to uh, perform Peru in front of 90,000 people, and it is very exciting. You excited? Insanely. Thank you. Let's do this. Come all the way from Nigeria just for this, and we're going to rock it. Now, there was a video of him, of course, in like tears, because you can tell it's a big deal, right? The Wembley Stadium is a 90,000 capacity stadium. And even though there's been a lot of buzz around, you know, the O2 Arena in the last, you know, few years, that's only a 20,000 capacity stadium. So, of course, it's incredible to see 26-year-old Fireboy doing his thing. But guys, there's more. A few hours after, at the next day's lineup at Ed Sheeran's tour, another African artist joined him on stage. Can you guess who? Of course, it's Grammy-winning Burna Boy. Unlike his performance with Fireboy DML, though, this time, the two took the stage to perform a yet-to-be-released track. Now, it's no longer a secret. The song is titled For My Hand, and that track is, of course, off the African giant Burna Boy's upcoming album, Love, Damini. Without any further ado, here's a short teaser of that performance. The song comes out next Friday with his album, Check it out, it's called Fall My Hand. Let's go. I wanna be in your life until the night is over. I wanna hold you so tight, so tight, coming close. It's been a hell of a ride, but every single moment, you were there by my side. Talk about Africa to the world. In fact, I have watched that video countless times. I can probably sing the song too, but we're looking forward to Burner's album dropping soon. Now, most recently, we've seen several entertainers promote their new project using various means, whether that's some online challenge or some rather controversial means that we call clout. This time, this accusation against chart-topping South African singer and songwriter Samthing Soweto. A local podcaster, Ray Gopain, has targeted the star, accusing Samthing Soweto of manipulating people with his depression so that he, they could buy into his music. Now, his words exactly, he said, he sort of just manipulates people using this whole depression thing. 
and he's so sad and he's about to commit suicide and people sort of like fall into that trap. A lot of artists fall off, but they deal with it. They don't blackmail and manipulate their fans. Now recall that the singer has had to address harsh comments about his weight just last month. He addressed tons of fans and spoke about his change of lifestyle, thanking those who sent love regardless. He also tweeted days before his latest release, saying, I'm sorry for the silence. I thought I was whack, but today I only discovered how dope I am. Hashtag depression. Which got a lot of attention across socials from both entertainers and, of course, fans. He then dropped his latest song, I'm Against, a few days ago, and it's doing great numbers. It topped country charts in all genres and got featured on Apple Music Africa Now. Something so to the country's platinum record singer has also taken the liberty to tease fans on his upcoming tour titled Now or Never. Although the accusation is rather harsh, I personally believe everyone needs a little bit of love and support they can get, right? Something Soweto hasn't responded to this accusation, but in recent times, we've seen several entertainers battle depression and mental health issues. Our hearts still go out to the families of late African rapper Ricky Reek. His impact on South African pop culture scene would certainly not be forgotten soon. Now an international scene nearly two years after Black Panther's actor Chadwick Boseman died of colon cancer at the age of 43, his family is setting up plans to distribute his multi-million dollar estate. According to multiple reports, Boseman's widow, Taylor Simone Ledwards, requested that the court evenly distribute her late husband's estate equally between her and her in-laws, Leroy and Carolyn Boseman, who she have said 50% of her, to her, I beg your pardon, and the other half to his parents. Now, since Bozeman reportedly did not have a will, his estate was responsible for paying higher legal fees than if he had. The documents revealed that the estate was valued at 3.8 million U.S. dollars before court fees, taxes, funeral costs, and other additional lawyer payments were subtracted. After all the bills are handled, the balance of his estate will be 2.3 million U.S. dollars. Bozeman and Ledward started dating before he was diagnosed with colon cancer in 2016. Well, it was truly an honor to have seen his films and his tireless contribution to his craft. It will be tough, but fans are still, of course, in high spirits for the sequel, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, scheduled for release this year, November the 11th. Of course, now, guys, what did you think about Ed Sheeran's performance, especially that song with Burner Boy? Oh, well, um, it, it sounds like it's going to be a really, really big hit, you know. For and, sure. Um, you know, Burner, Burner has had a really, really busy last, what, three, four, five years. Mm -hmm. um, another album coming out, you know, pretty soon is, is you know, everyone's excited about it. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I am oh. very excited about Fireboy. I'm so excited about his journey, seeing mm -hmm. how far he's come. It's almost like a dream. Osagi and I were talking about this off camera, and mm -hmm. he was saying how Terms and Fireboy, it's just been such a... A mir I won't call it a miraculous because they put in the work, but it's become it's been a very interesting journey for the both of them. And we're happy for them, Africa to the world. Well done to these superstars that are making Nigeria and Africa proud. Ninety thousand fans. That's, That's a lot. insane. <laughs> and yes, yeah, Sam Dandy, I also mentioned you know with longer hair, you, uh, hair, you definitely look like a fire boy. Do you agree? Someone mm -hmm. had said that before. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Just grow your hair a little bit. The same way we have a fake Drake. Uh, we could have, you know, you know, another fire boy. No, I'd rather have, one. I'd rather have the real Sam Dandy. Hey, oh, you're sweet. <laughs> you're sweet. Uh, thank you very much, Sam. Enjoy thank the rest you of your weekend. I'm sure you're going to TGI. Party. You know. <laughs> <laughs>